forever. Dog. From the spacious Forever Dog Studios in Los Angeles, California, and the satellite Forever Dog Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, this is the crew. Dan and Eric. Hi, Eric. Okay, okay, all right, okay, all right. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank oh, you so much. Okay, okay. Oh. all right, okay, Thank whatever. You. Okay, whatever. Thank all you. right. You stop. Thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Thank Hello. You. Thank you so much. Eric. Hey Dan. Hey bud. What's up, man? How are you doing? Hey, you. Happy week. Uh I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm doing okay. I got I got not a lot of news. I'm uh I had a fun Thanksgiving. How was your how was your big day? Uh not great. Oh boy. Not great. Should we blow past it? I mean, I don't want to get into it. We kind of had like a weird Thanksgiving because um, we were going to do our own Thanksgiving and then just the two of us. And then it got weird. Hmm. So I, you know, I was like not in the greatest mood. I was a grumpy Gus. And Eric. it kind of I was a grumpy guy and it threw the whole thing into uh, disarray. Well, yeah. Whole sh- then we saw Creed 2 and it was awesome. Oh, OK. Why were you such a grump? Did you miss the parade? Uh, No, I hate parades. What? I never no I hate parades because I love a parade. All walking slower than needs to be freaks me out. If they walk too slow. <laughs> they walk too slow. Go. Get, get where go. you're going. Go on. No one was like who's the guy who gets them to go? Who's the guy who gets them to go? Go. They're, they're parading around. They want you to look. I hate it. They why do they have to walk so slow? Okay. So maybe um, the idea that a parade was happening somewhere got you in a grumpy mood. On some level. On yeah. some level. Yeah. I don't know. I think just normal shit. Okay. It could be things where it's like, just what, I just wasn't feeling Thanksgiving this year mm. at all, in, in any way. That's sad. It's one of my Is faves. It? Well, it's one of my fave halls. Okay. I'm sorry I made you sad with my feelings. Well, maybe don't share next time. Well, I... <laughs> I said it ended up well. We saw Creed Two is awesome, right? Yeah, Michael B. Um, yeah, good. But other than that, you know, getting ready to go to Denver. Look out! Look out! Denver, look out! Mile high. Album, yeah, December seventh. Oh, what's that? Christmas-y. What's that date again? I, Omaha. Speaking of Christmas, yeah. I got a first impression for you. You ready for this? Oh, I want to get into Christmas. Hold on. Okay. I think that's why. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I think the I really want to just leapfrog over. Thanksgiving this year because I just want that Christmas ish. I get it. I get it. Let, let me open up first impressions and we can get right to it. This is okay. first impressions. Open it. Oh, I love that fanfare. It's open. It's open. Now, what? What do you? What do you have? To, is this a Christmas themed? Yeah, first this impression? is a Tom Waits Christmas. Wow. This is a Tom Waits Christmas a singer, t- actor, Lothario. Uh huh. In the new Coen Brothers picture, several. Oh no, he was in. He's a. He's a Jim Jarmusch guy. He's a Jarmusch he was in guy. Yeah. Jim Jarmusch movies. Yeah. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make your Yuletide gay. <laughs> From now on, Singapore. What? Singapore. What's going on? Singapore. What? He always, he always talks about Singapore. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty good. How many Christmas? Does he have an album you were uh, referring to, or is that uh, of your own concoction? Uh, well, have there's a bunch of different Tom Waits. There was like my Meth Come Down Tom Waits is uh, Heart of Saturday Night. Okay, I listen to that. it's like a real jazzy, real soft, gentle, uh-huh. mournful record. Yeah. What's his um, closing time? Is that his first big one? Or close, yeah, yeah. I don't know that one. I don't know that one as well. And then there's like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of his records. Well, I was talking about sailors, sailors taking midgets to Singapore. I'm like, why are you always trying to take a midget to Singapore? Mm, well, that's what gets him. That's his. That's his expression. I don't think we should harp too bad on it. I don't have sh- I, shooting pool with a sailor. I don't have. <laughs> Did he get Shanghai at one point? What, what's his connection to the sea? Shanghai and sing- you're the only motherfucker I know who can get Shanghai and sing. This is a guy. <laughs> this is giving Tom Waits shit. I want to be. I want this is a whole. I want to do this with Bruce too, where it's like it's so funny to be like the friend of this like rock like legend who's just giving him shit. Yeah. Oh, 
Bruce is like, because like Bruce just always talks shit about where he's from so much. Right. Every, every Bruce Springsteen album is all about how happy he is. He he's, got away. From yeah, it's hard luck, blue from. collar roots. Oh, it was really yeah. that bad, huh? It was that bad, huh, Bruce? Oh, it was that bad. Oh, it was so bad, huh? oh, not so bad. You didn't get any more pregnant, did you? <laughs> did you get any more pregnant while you were walking? Oh, the no, Bruce home? Springsteen had a pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, I like that. Uh, close up first impressions, if you will. Sound tech, Alec. There's the fanfare. God, I love that. Uh, and please, oh my God, Eric, do you see what time it is right here? Oh my God. It's time once again for the NUP News at 9. This is the NUP News at 9 with Dan and Eric. Welcome to Nup News at Nine. Mm. I hope you're listening on the nines. It's going to improve your listening experience. Eric, I think you're going to lead us off here with Nup News. Uh oh, what the Jordan thing? Yeah, I yeah, it was just a video that I saw. It was like really quick with this guy proposing, um, and he's wearing these like limited edition, very nice Jordan Elevens. Okay, and he takes one off because he got down on one knee and he didn't want there to be a crease. Mm. In his in his leverage foot. See, see when you when you're doing the on one, yeah, there's got a leverage foot, and yeah. didn't want to get a crease in it, and so had the presence of mind in that moment. All the motions flowing through him. Mm-hmm. His love was for it. the sneaker and not his yep. his bride to be. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. Well, that's certainly a story for the sneaker heads out there. Yeah, I think that's where, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, I'm coming from the angle where it's a presence of mind to despite all these like feelings that he has going on. Uh huh. Of love and he still has the wherewithal to protect the Jordans. Wherewithal. Okay. That's the word I love. Okay, that's a. I I got some nup news for you in the uh, in the Sandman department. Lay it on me, Dan man. Adam Sandler joins bride and groom for their wedding photos. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, this is a fun one. The uh, the wedding singer actor Adam Sandler, who grew up in Manchester, New Hampshire, by the way, was getting into an SUV nearby mm-hmm. this this uh, this this wedding, and uh, without being asked, Sandler hopped out of the car, still sweaty from a game of basketball he had just finished, and took photos with the Shaws, Laker and Lakers videographer. Okay, so uh, Lakers? Something about Lakers. Something about Lakers. I, there's something about Laker. It's not. I think that's the name of the person. Not Brian Shaw. Oh, okay. It's just the name of it. Okay. So we'll throw this up on the show shows. We probably won't because we're terrible with the socials. But the the photo, he's looking classic, Sandman. He's just wearing <laughs> he's just wearing some mesh shorts, an oversized t shirt. The Sandman can. Zoopity doo. Sandman, you went too far. Have you watched? <laughs> have you watched his new special? He has interstitials where he goes. Dave and I joke about this all the time. He goes, uh, "Oh, Sandman, you went too far." What would you do? Oh, that's the Sandman. That's all I, I got. Sandman, Sandman was uh, like uh, you know the farting man's Kevin Costner. He made a bunch of he made a bunch of Kevin Costner movies where he's like the perfect person. Yeah, where there's just enough of him to overcome, and he overcomes that thing, and he is so nice to old people mm. and homeless people. The Sandman in real life? No, in his movies. Oh, right. He made like Kevin Costner ass movies. I think Sandman movies. might be wearing Jordans in this picture. Is that crazy? He's always he loves he's got a basketball game. Okay. Yeah. He's really sweaty in this picture too. It's a great picture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think the- Chappelle I think Chappelle did one too pretty recently at a brewery in Dayton, Ohio, where he lives. He like dropped in on some engagement photos. If if a celeb popped up in the back of your wedding, would you mm. want the men or not? You go for that. I get right? a, well, why not? Get a couple. You don't have to use them. Yeah. Be fun for the Insta years years on when yeah. that celeb dies. It feels like a low key cuckold to me. <laughs> to cuckold the sitch? It's a cuckold it's a cuckolding sitch when like a, a famous sweaty man is n- next to you and your wife. Maybe not. I I talk about this with my therapist a lot. I'll save I, it for them. I'll save it for them. Wait, are you in therapy? No. God, no. Improving myself? No thanks. Get out of here. I haven't brushed my teeth in <laughs> six, six days. Let's close up the nup news. Oh, that's the nup news at nine. 
Uh, we did first impressions. This is slowly, by the way, wetheads, thank you for listening. This is the only wedding plan podcast by grooms, for grooms, and everyone in between. We appreciate you coming here, tuning in every week. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the podcast. Follow us on at Groomzilla's on Twitter and at Groomzilla's pod on Instagram. Please talk about us with your friends and let them know that this is slowly morphing from a wedding podcast into a commercial and wedding podcast where we talk about commercials up top. I think it's mostly just about segments. I think we have enough different segments. Yeah, where, this is yeah. segment pod. Speaking of segments, I want a segment. Speaking of segments. Is, you soft pitch it. I want a segment that's called Speaking Of. Mm-hmm. Speaking Of, Speaking Of Segments. Okay. And it's a segment about segues. Ah, segway segments. Yeah. So the segment would be like, oh, what do you got for me, Dan? Oh, funny you should mention that, Dan. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then we, you know, trans go back and forth. Like that. Alec had a seamless segue earlier. I don't remember what it was. It's something about your pants and you, you were full from Thanksgiving. What was it? Sound tech, Alec? Oh, it was so good. It was so good. It was such a flawless. And I would have brought that up of in, in speaking of in this new segment we're oh, thinking about. Yeah. You, you said speaking like, of seg. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Boy, you should have been there, listeners. You really should have. It, would have, it was something to behold. I want to open up so, Commercial World. Eric, can you sing the thing, theme song for Commercial World? A runaway smash now? hit should segment? Yeah, sing it. When should I start three, singing it? Now. Two, one, zero, start. Oh, I'm a commer- Wait, how does it go? It's a commercial <laughs> world, right? right? And now it's time for Commercial World. Oh, it's a commercial world and I am a commercial girl. Radio. Wow, that was a enchanting rendition of the commercial world theme song. Yeah, I've been playing around a little bit with my vocal range ever since I, I saw tell. the Freddie Mercury. Movie. Oh, I can yeah. tell. Yeah, it's paying off. Um, I want to talk about these holiday themed Best Buy commercials, Eric. You seem lit up by this. They are weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I and I have a theory, and it's like I have I definitely have a theory about this. But what what unsettles you, boy? Okay, let me explain what I'm talking about. Hopefully, you've know, you've seen them, listeners. You know what I'm talking about. It's the one on one Best Buy commercials. They're like they got a blue hue to them because Best Buy is blue, and it's just in a studio, and it's a cust- one customer squaring off with one Best Buy employee, and they're mm-hmm. asking them questions back and forth, mm-hmm. and the Best Buy employee is doing their best to answer these these queries. Mm-hmm. You know, what should I get? So and so for Christmas, but the weirdest part is just this environment that they exist in. This weird uh, nether, lock- world. <laughs> nether world, locked off universe. Mm-hmm. Also, the the uh, if, I don't know the the editing is very weird because they like cut to their hands moving and gesturing, and one they cut to the guy's like pectorals of the of the Best Buy employee, and he's gesturing. Mm-hmm. I don't understand mm-hmm. it. It's bu- it's bizarre to me. What what are your takeaways? Because I never really all that's the netherworld never really bothered. Me. Yeah. Uh, to me, what was troubling was is the tone of these commercials. Mm-hmm. It's like a real we right now in Trump's America. Mm-hmm. Commercials in Trump's America is like it's like a post humor place. Yeah. People people aren't really trying to like make you laugh with these commercials. They appreciate. The like that they have to use some humor in the commercials, but they're not really trying to make you laugh. They're not trying to make you think. They're not even trying to make you think. They're just trying to make you get you through this commercial. Okay. Uh, with like a very like a real dull <laughs> kind of like fucking you know taco salad. Yeah. I, I I you know that very Trumpian kind of like way of being of like okay. I'm just gonna fucking dull this existence as much as possible, and I like. Mm. So you're, you're reading, you're reading a lot into. The- I smoke so much weed, and I just watch commercials, man. You do, and the whole fucking system set up like this, okay. like it happened. All it right. happened like, during the eight years Obama. Like you, commercials are the, you know. Oh yeah, they're the thing. Capitalism, baby. That's why we love yeah, commercial my world. Thing about, uh, commercial. There's like a dude who I used to do open mics with who was a poet. It was like a mixed open mic at the Tribal Cafe. Oh, did sure. you ever go to Tribal Cafe? I think I did once or twice, yeah. There's a dude who used to always read poems about capitalism and how it was like terrible because he would just go to commercial auditions all day. And now yeah. he's like in every commercial. Yeah, I'm sure he still hates capitalism. Yeah. I bet his poems were – I mean, I'm surprised. They were actually pretty – I mean, they got me fired up, but then I was like, saw yeah. him in like a fucking 
in like a Honda commercial. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? All right. Like he's a sellout. He can't be a poet and in a Honda commercial. All right. I <laughs> no. First of all, I would do anything for a Honda commercial. Literally uh-huh. anything. Yeah. Um, but it did take away from the fire of the fucking anti-capitalist. Yeah. Poems. I'm like, I mean, I was, like it genuinely was lit up by his poetry in the right. moment. I'm, just su- take away I'm surprised he, someone wrote a poem about capitalism and how capitalism was bad in poem form. I'm surprised someone actually went there. I'm surprised that yeah. didn't end capitalism. A good poem? Yeah. People tried to. People tried it. It just didn't take. Sandman, you went too far. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> that was Commercial World. Let's close up Commercial World. Eric, if you would. Oh. I don't want to put in pops. I don't know. That's, that's, that's <laughs> sing the song. Can you sing the song like Sandman? Oh, it's a commercial. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I slipped into a little Mrs. Yeah. Swan. A little mad TV there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm a professional. I'm not Jimmy Fallon. I'm not fucking Jimmy Fallon. Who said right. you? No one would I'm say that. Jimmy Fallon. No one would call you Jimmy Fallon. That. I know people say that shit about me. No. Um, hold on. I got it. Center it. Hold on. Find it. You're Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler singing the It's a Commercial World uh-huh. theme song. This okay. has been Commercial okay. World. Oh, it's a commercial world. And I am a commercial girl. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. I'll be done. I'll be... It's a, it's a, it's a commercial world, and I'm a commercial girl. So you got to get the yell in. He yells. I was trying to get the yell earlier. It's a very oh, what do you want? Oh, this guy. Yeah, it's one of those. Sam, man, we um, went too far. Yeah. On the show today, did we mention it yet? Did we mention who was on the no, show? No, Greta Thunberg. It's Greta Titleman. It's Greta Titleman. On the show today, Greta Titleman. We buried the lead per usual. Greta yeah. Titleman in the spacious Forever Dog Studios when we return. But right now. We're going to take a pointless break, which is solely for editing purposes. Eric, I'll see you on the other side. Can you? Can we even have some mystery left? <laughs> Where's the mystery? Welcome back to Groomzillas. We're here with Greta Teitelman. Greta, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm, Hi, Greta. I love... Um, Groom dynamics. Yeah, well, we got yeah. that. In, we got that in spades. <laughs> you, Wait, you guys both got married recently. We both got married yeah. in 2017. Were you guys at each other's weddings? Yeah, yeah. 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 Were they popping? Yeah, each in their own ways. I think they were both pretty yeah. popping. What was the vibe? How yeah. was the food? What was the situation? You know, well, well, you go first. You go first. I'm gonna. We're gonna give you the crib notes on this one because we covered a lot on this. On this, I'm sure you have these groups. Do you want to do each other's? Let's do each heads. other's weddings. What you do we do? Just give me do? like top fives from each other's. Um, so Dan's was <laughs> Dan's was like really local to where they live in Los Feliz, and it was like in like um like a mid century like Mas- Masonic lodge, and mm-hmm. there was a whole like. It was like early, you know, early autumn in Los Feliz mm-hmm. Love backyard, that. Vi- backyard vibes with like two like actual literal trailers and like a fucking keg. And it was just chill and like totally chill. I love that. Like, so it, it was just like it's such a beautiful, slow, 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 slow roasting. What is that word? How do you say it? Like, like a slow marinated. burn. Slow yeah. burn. A slow yeah. burn. Slow burn. Slow burn. Burn. Roasting. What did I say? Roast. Slow roast. Well, some people a got it roast. Roast. Yeah, it was like a slow roast of a wedding. It was beautiful, delicious. That's great. Yeah, Eric's yeah. was Christmas in the desert. He was out in Palm Springs. You got married on Christmas? No, that was the theme. Oh, I wish. Oh. So they got married by a Christmas tree. People brought Christmas ornaments as their gifts. I forgot. Wait, I, really? This is so but sweet. Now they have like ornaments. Yeah, it was. It was really great. Put on the tree every year. Very small affair. I think it was around forty. Um, was yours larger than 40 plus 40? I think we were around 150, Buck 80? 120. No, oh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 don't you dare, numbers, don't you dare numbers, say 180. No, I would never, yeah. I would never get anywhere close to 180. Eric had the no, police come, which was fun and exciting for everyone because he was trying to yeah. dance outside and he's loud and he's trying to get on this those amplified speakers, but that made for a fun story. Love that. And yeah. an intimate dance floor on the inside because we had that. to move inside. Well, that's great. Yeah. It was beautiful. And your one year anniversary is here? It's soon. It's coming. We're going to like, we're actually going to DC and have like a little mini staycation getaway slash getaway. We're just like going to get a hotel room in DC. You and should hang eat out at my friend's restaurant in DC. 
Yeah. What is it called? It's called, I think it's called Maidan. It's like, it's like the very, hold on, I'm going to look it up. Greta Titelman from Washington, D.C. Yes. Yeah. I'm from, yeah. I'm, you know, not born, but raised. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was born in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, sure. Harry. Oh, yeah. You know, the capital. A lot of people are like, that's the capital. And I'm like, it sure is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, Maidan, M-A-Y-D-A-N. You got to go. I've been dying okay. to go to my friend's restaurant. Gerald is the executive chef there. It's amazing. Maidan? DC Maidan. has incredible food. Oh, yeah. Maidan. Maidan's a sponsor. Do you, have of you heard Grimzilla's. of Compass Rose, that other restaurant in DC? No. Whatever. Go to both of them. They're owned by the same people. Okay. You're going to have a great time. Compass Rose. Yeah. Okay. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Eric. Thank yeah. you so much. Greta, yeah. Greta what's, your, what's your status with marriage and what's your view on marriage? Let's start there. Um, my view on marriage, you know, for the longest time, I was like, I'm never getting married. Yeah. Because One I was. Of those? Yeah. Well, it wasn't like, you know, when some people do that because they feel like it almost makes them like cool or like alt mm -hmm. to be Self like. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, I was a product of a, my parents had a terrible marriage, mm -hmm. hated each mm -hmm. other. Oh. Um, but they stayed together? They yes, stayed together. and they shouldn't have. Yeah. And they yeah. stayed together for 28 Mine years too. till finally my my they divorced. My mm -hmm. dad left my mom. My dad was cheating on her. Mm. Personal trainer situation. Really? Classic tale as old as time, really. Okay. Um <laughs> and and I But saw, did it get in shape? You know, my dad's a very fit guy. Okay. My dad is the kind of person yeah. that goes like ham on the elliptical for 2 hours. Goes and, ham? Yeah, what? hard as a motherfucker. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know these. I didn't know that acronym. I like it. I think that's is that right? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think don't know. so. I, don't know. I just going ham. I just know it as going ham is like going crazy on something. Yeah, going ham, okay. going, going off. off. I had my yeah. head in the sand as far as hamming. I mean, I love that we're teaching you ham now because I feel like ham is like an older. Yeah. Can term. I write it down? Oh, is it older? Yeah. I was gonna say I'm not yeah. hip, but I guess I was never hip. Ham is like you gotta come back. Hmm. You yeah. gotta bring it back, Dan. Okay. Yeah, we're bringing ham back. Uh, anyway, my dad or <laughs> I'm off pork, so I can't. Yeah. Or he goes hard in the paint. Hard in the paint. So there he's crashing is. the boards. Crash. Well, I've heard that. That's you know? like basketball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, my dad. Yeah, he really loses himself on the ellipticals. He was like a fit guy, uh -huh. and and I think you know the gym was, was an escape. Was sure. Was like yeah, yeah. The gym. So he's working it out, and they split up. The the trainer and my dad eventually split up. Yes. Oh, the, oh okay. Yeah, I was oh, asking oh, no, about my you parents, and your mom. My parents split up. Yes, they were married for yeah. twenty eight years. My parents split up, and then they went through a nasty, terrible divorce mm. that lasted forever. Yeah. My mom ends up dying. I mean, true horror. Oh boy, nightmare tale. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think seeing my parents have like such a terrible marriage, I was like. I was like, this is whack. Like, right. why do I want to bind myself, like legally bind myself to someone that I'll probably end up hating? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I had my own issues in relationships too, where in all the relationships I've been in in the past, I have a boyfriend now who I would love to marry, mm -hmm. but in all of my relationships in the past, it was just like never right. Or yeah. I just was growing up. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. You never and had one come along where you painted that fantasy and followed that yeah. hypothetical down the road until yeah. now. Until now. I mean, I dated, of course, like, you know, when you're like three months into a relationship with someone that you're in love with, you're like, oh, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh -huh. Like whatever uh -huh. you say um, in that voice. that voice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it has to be in that voice. Because uh -huh. you're in love. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the voice of love. Sure. It sounds like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the dark, I dated in the that person for a while. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, and then, I don't know, like marriage is, marriage is crazy. It's like a crazy concept. Have yeah. you, do you know anyone, is there anyone in your life who has a good uh, example of a marriage? Is there Totally. Anyone? I am friends with a lot of people that are like very happily married and mm -hmm. like love being married. And and I have my aunt and uncle who I'm incredibly close with are mm -hmm. so in love, have been in love since they were, my uncle has been in love with my aunt since they were like in high school yeah. oh, and yeah. they've been married since they were yeah. 26 and now they're 60. Mm -hmm. You know, that's... A really so long cool. time. Yeah. Are they in Harrisburg? No, they are in, they're in between Great New York and Scranton. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure, sure. Another Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. another Pennsylvania place. Okay. I want to do the, I'm a big, the American office head. Yeah. And I really, I really want to do like a fucking day in Scranton. Come. 
Yeah. Are there take a little tour? I, I I know they didn't shoot there, but there's probably some sort of office tour that they put there, on. I think all the places are real places. Yeah, and like Froggy, like the the yeah. radio station that they listen to is like oh, real yeah. and like yeah. Yeah. Well, the, if you're in, I'm not sure if they're still there, but for a while in like downtown Scranton, there would be like Dunder Mifflin paper up in like yeah, the I want that. windows yeah. of like buildings that uh-huh. were for lease or whatever. Yeah. And there's yeah, that old that paper mill that's in the opening, so yeah. Scranton paper. It's, that's real. See, I'd see that. Electric City, baby. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going there for Christmas. Okay. Yeah. That's a good place to be. For your like. anniversary, I can send you a picture of downtown Scranton. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, that would be cool. I, I do like I do like a yearly uh wintertime like methadone viewing of the office. Like mm. the I just watched, I watched the whole series like pretty nonstop. It's and important. Then, yeah. I just got through it. Yeah. You did the whole thing for the first time? No, not for the first time, but I I revisited for the first time in a long he's time. Been in, he's been in the he's in the motherfucker. I'm in he's, the office. Yeah, he's a, he is a part of history. You're in it. Well, yeah, I was in yeah. I was in the season after Carell left, so I think there's an asterisk. Oh to, wow! To my, to, well, there isn't. Why do you do that to yourself? That I also do that. No, 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 no. That doesn't cast. that doesn't matter. Yeah, because honestly, and I think and like. So cool. My boyfriend is a psycho office fan. Uh-huh. He loves that. Yeah. That time of the office. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's that's when they open up a little bit. The the I, the last few seasons though, like season 9, is that how long they went? Season 9 or 10? I love it. I love it to the end, from beginning to end. Ooh, man, the stuff where like the the movie they comes out. You guys, they I'm going to be really honest with yeah. you. I am a spotty office watcher. I yeah. have oh, never okay. watched the whole thing through and through. Oh, okay. Like I can commit to 19 <laughs> seasons of SVU, but sure. I can't commit. Don't miss one to... episode there. <laughs> <laughs> one episode of the like... same story 900 yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's so different though, because I can do that with like Law and Order. I tried to do it with ER, and it was like I can't. No, I ER walk, is like, crazy. It's too much. <laughs> That's I, really I, funny that you tried to do that with ER. Because there was like 400 episodes of fucking ER. It was on. It was on television for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. And, and Clooney is like hottest yeah. Clooney of all time in ER. Yeah. And he left pretty yeah. early. What did he leave? Season two or three? He was out of there. Was he out of there in season two or three? He got out of there pretty quick. I think maybe wow. maybe a little longer than that. He I'll, went to the Caesar. Then he went to the Caesar pretty quick. Then the Caesar haircut. Yeah, mm-hmm. I felt like he had like there were like at least <laughs> there were like different iterations of his haircut. <laughs> like there were yeah, three seasons of just long hair Clooney, and then he went to the Caesar, and then he had the Caesar for like too long, three. too long. It's crazy <laughs> that Clooney, a bad boy that no one ever thought would get married. Mm, Remember yeah. when everyone was like, no one will ever tame that bachelor yeah. beast, and yeah. now he's just like married with twins. Yeah, and and her mall. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's queen. Amal's literally queen. Yes. Yeah. But he still does pranks. He's still a prankster, though. He's still. <laughs> he's still out there. He's... I'm sure he's still pulling pranks. Yeah. Not on his wife. Not Didn't on you... Amal. That's not what I'm suggesting. You think nasty Vespa thing. You think he's? You think he's still after the Vespa? What's the Vespa? What's the Vespa thing? I think he had like too many, one too many Nespresso, <laughs> and he got into. But he was on like a Vespa or something, and he got into like a um uh, an accident. <laughs> Serious Vespa accident. Clooster, yeah. gotta watch out. Wow. Yeah. What was he in, like, Rome or something? Between, like, bopping between his house he was and, like, Como? Between his villas. Yeah. Of course yeah. He yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's zipping around. He's going too fast on that thing. Maybe it was too much Maybe Casamigos to tequila, Maybe too. Wow. Can we talk about Casamigos? Let's, I mean, we talk about it all the time here on the on the Grooms. That's. Do you drink it? I drink it. I yeah. love it. That's pretty the smooth. move. Yeah. That Reposado yeah. mm-hmm. feels nice. Good. Yeah, they're not an official sponsor, but we were talking about it. Oh, you'll get there. For the, for the royal wedding, because Clunster and Amal were there. Yeah. And Eric hypothesized that he was just getting behind the bar, pouring the Casamigos. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. This, this story of Casamigos is also hilarious to me. Yeah. What is it's it? Him, it's him and uh, Randy Gerber. Randy Gerber. And they is... were like, they were like, we were just down in Mexico. And we were like, wow, we love tequila. Like, we should just yeah. try yeah. and make some. And then they were like, and then we'd make small batches for our friends around the yeah. holidays. And then, yeah. like, they were like, wow, this stuff is really good. And we were like, oh. It's like a real, tur- you know, do you watch Entourage? Do you, yes. Are you familiar with Turtle? Yes. It's kind of like a real life. What was that? Uh, it was Avion. 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 And Avion. that's real. Avion. Yeah. That's real tequila. <laughs> I was just talking about this with sound tech alec um he was with uh alec he was with a, an entourage writer for his thanksgiving eric 
Really? And Thanksgiving with really? an entourage rider who was doing wow. whippets the whole Honestly, time. Honestly, Thanksgiving oh, with a genius. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So, Are you serious, yeah. Alec? Yeah. What? Okay, co- like what? I can't we see that far. Cliff, it's uh, it's Cliff Dorfman. Of course, of course, a guy named Cliff wrote yeah. for Entourage. That, yeah. That's an algorithm, yeah. Alec. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> with us. No, dude. he was there. Al- Alec verbalized. He was there doing whippets. Yeah or nay? He did one whippet in front of his son and other whippets in front of other. People. Wait, what? He did a whippet in front of his son. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest with you, whippets are like so hardcore bad. to do in front of child. Yeah, or because Thanksgiving. It's so easy to do for a kid to do a whippet, and then like their tiny little brains can't handle. <laughs> That, no, that one whip is game over for a child. That yeah. is so. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I like. I just like went through a whip it phase, but like my whip it phase was in like college. I don't think I've done a whip it. Wow, um, a lot of people do the whip it. Um, what did I get into? I didn't do whip it, but I did. Uh, what's the fuck poppers? Oh, I poppers! Re- yeah, I fuck I with a popper for real. Really into poppers. Mm. Yeah, poppers are fun. Poppers, you can just buy it from any Circus sex shop. Of Circus of books. That's where yeah. I used to get my. What's a, or, a popper? I think it's like. What's, Pop, what what's are the poppers? gas there? What's you the difference between you just whipping? Like, you just like in, you just cleaning inhale fluid? it. Yeah, it's like VCR cleaning fluid. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's for people like us. All natural kind yeah, of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good for you. It comes in like a little container and you just like... Yeah. I don't know, it's fucking crazy, dude. Oh, okay. I don't, for like um, For like... 30 seconds you're having the time yeah. of your life yeah. and if you yeah. do it like while you're having sex it's like you feel yeah. like a porn star oh wow so you've incorporated it into your love making as well well you know sometimes fun have you ever uh, huffed gas during sex <laughs> that's i i save that for uh oh. for more romantic evenings i highly recommend get a nice rag full of like it doesn't have to be premium but i but prefer just, premium. Yeah. just yeah, a I good understand. good gasoline and just <sighs> give, Suck it, give it yourself right a in. big old huff um, That's from our Chevy truck commercial that we're writing. Dan and I are going to hold. We're going to write a whole Chevy, a whole new direction for whole us. new, yeah, big campaign coming. Look for that yeah. from Chevy. Just a couple of dudes on the just on the run. gas. Yeah, just figuring it out, man. Yeah, I'm just figuring it out. I love that. Although with all this, yeah. the GM announcements and all these job losses, I don't know if they're going to take it because no. we're doing this campaign on spec. So Mm-mm. hopefully they want the gas guzzler. We call it gas guzzlers and gas. I couldn't finish it. The I, only thing guzzling it. gas are you two. Mm-hmm. Through our lungs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Love that. Uh, let's. Every, I'm going to steer this. Every. I'm going to steer the ship back to weddings if yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep talking about weddings. Uh, what do you, What do you like to get into on weddings? Do you ever do poppers during weddings? Like, let's talk about attending weddings. Okay. And what kind of guest you are? Okay, I'm an incredible wedding guest. Mm-hmm. I am a wedding guest. Like, you want me at your wedding? Yeah. I get you the party started. I dance yeah. till. People tell me to leave and I will go to the after party and shred. That being said, I'm conscious enough where I won't take away from your special day. You know what I mean? Okay. So you can't be a guest that's like. No. It's not your movie. Yeah. It's not your movie. You just got a cameo. You get a cameo and then you you say your one line and you're out. Uh Yeah. And. Sure. Yeah, I'm a good, I'm a great, I'm a great wedding guest. I yeah. love, I love going to weddings. Sure. How many weddings are you averaging these days? How old are you? Are you in the wed- prime wedding season for like all your friends? Are they all getting married? I have, I've have a very, I have a group of friends that are like 35 mm-hmm. that I went that in my, and I'm younger than them. And yeah. I went through like a wave of those weddings, sure. which was super fun. Mm-hmm. And now I'm in a wave of my own yeah. age. Yeah. Getting married. So you're going, you're going a couple times a year probably. Yeah. Yeah. And my boyfriend, well, here's the thing in like, well, in, in our lives and like being comedians and like in entertainment or whatever. Mm-hmm. This thing of ours. I call it this thing of this ours. Thing of this ours. thing of it's ours. It's a mafia. And like a coastal sure. lifestyle. I feel like we yeah. get married maybe later, or yeah. maybe just uh, whatever. My boyfriend went to college at University of Michigan and a mm. lot of his friends. Go Wolverines. Yeah. yeah. You know, Big go time. blue. Yeah. Go blue. And a lot of his friends got married like they were just like, oh. Let's get like out of college. Let's yeah. work for four yeah. years and like let's get married. Yeah. And so he he went through a lot of his wedding season 
but actually two of his best friends got engaged on the same day last weekend. Oh, whoops. Which was like funny. <laughs> so we have those weddings coming up. Was it the day know. after Thanksgiving or something? I feel like the holidays, a the lot weekend, of people. It was the weekend before Thanksgiving. It was oh, like okay. on that Sunday and then yep. Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a particularly like fucking hot year. I think people are just like doing it this year. Yeah, a lot of engagements this year in our friend group. I think that people are liking the idea of marriage more. It's back. I do. I really think so. I yeah. think it's like people are not as scared of it. It is back. <laughs> yeah, you read those back. statistics. No, I know they've gone down. But Eric and I, Eric, I mean Eric and I, set the bar, and then everyone was just like, "Well, they're doing it." I guess. How we old should... were you guys? When, how old were you guys when you got married? Uh, I was thirty-four. And you were. 35. And how long were you dating your... Sorry, I know that I'm asking you questions. Uh, that's no, that's fine. Yeah. About nine years, I think. Yeah, six years. And when, when did you guys get... Did you have a long engagement? Because I have a... I find um, it weird when people have long engagements. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have a friend that has depends. been engaged for three years. That's too long. And I'm like, what's happening here? <laughs> like, why yeah. Why don't you just plan the fucking wedding? Right. Like, Or maybe you don't want to get married and you feel like you're stuck. And that's might my be. theory. Might be what it is. But, um, yeah, like, long engagements. If I were to get engaged. The long engagement makes sense if you've only been dating for, like, two years. But you, like, you know you're in love, but you're also, like, you know, no rush. Yeah. Because we're still, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Eric? People do it for a bunch of different reasons. Like, I mean, there are so many people who just want the, that, like, I feel like initial rush of, like, locking down the union or whatever. And then, like, taking too long. I th- I feel like we were engaged for a period of time that was a- almost starting to dip into too long territory. It was, like, a little over a year and a half. It was, like, about, it was, like, about to turn. But we, like, just did it because we wanted to do it. Mm. And I think if you have a long engagement too, if you like want to save money and you want to like throw yourself a wedding that you actually want to have, like that's one thing. That's but like thing. my that's what yeah, yeah, and like my friends that have been engaged for three years, I'm like, so what's up? And they're like, mm, I don't know. I'm like, you still have not set a date. Like you don't even think is this just like yeah? Because I'm all for someone wanting jewelry. Like if you just want to wear some jewelry, like oh, yeah. Lose yourself. I don't rock. care. Yeah, just right. like or if you want to wear a wedding band. Yeah, but doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think you wear the band until you. Well, but I'm engagement. saying if say say a guy was like, I want to wear this ring to just be like committed to you. I don't know. Mm. You yeah. know, it's like promise ring situation. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. Just like wear some jewelry if that's what you want. <laughs> that would be yeah. such a funny thing if a guy couldn't bring himself to wear jewelry and. Unless he were in, like, I just want to wear this. I just want to wear this. Ring. Some people are weird like that, though. Yeah. Some people yeah. need reasons to do things that they just like could just normally do. Yeah. yeah. I was having this conversation with my friend the other day about Thanksgiving, where I'm like, it's so funny to me that like, you know, my friend is like, oh, I crave Thanksgiving food all year round. I'm like, you can literally just make yourself a Thanksgiving dish. It's true. On a random Tuesday. Yeah. They won't do it. You need to give yourself permission. You need to give yourself permission to indulge. It's like when I go on vacation, I like, I'll, I'll, I'll experiment with like fun hats or like things I wouldn't know. Yeah. Like a different look. (laughs) But you won't wear a hat. No, 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 no. I know. No, like a different, like maybe a straw hat. Okay. Like a vacation. I wear vacation clothes. Maybe you'll like wear like an index finger ring. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll smoke a cigarette. Pinky ring. You know what it is? It's the pinky ring. It's all about that pinky ring. And I'm wearing like necklaces I buy from someone on the street I'm like yeah what do you think babe maybe i'm a necklace guy now I'm like it's vacation dan and i'm having I a great that. time but yeah. i almost pulled i almost pulled the trigger on getting my ear pierced like do it so many times. But now i want the double not only do i want you need like, to get both pierced both yeah. pierced, but i want like big ass fucking hoops do it like, i support yeah. like balls <laughs> with big hoops, hoops is the vibe that i'm here for you know who you're gonna look yeah. like you're gonna look like, like this a, is this is a very uh, no one's gonna get this reference but you know the show doug the mm-hmm. cartoon you know the band the beats in yeah doug? Duh. the band killer tofu exactly i think the, the female bass player i don't know what she plays but she's bald with big hoops Dude. Yeah, oh, been, I remember her, but yeah. she like has like little spiky, like little like tiny Does hairs she? on her head. I thought I she was just totally bald. Is with she hoops. totally bald? I don't know. But Great. Bald hoops. Oh, I just remember who she is. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good compliment. That's exactly what that's I'm going for. That's who you for. get. Yeah. I've been thinking. I've been dreaming in baselines. Did I tell you that? <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> I, just, I just like. Yeah, yeah. you didn't mention it, but no. Are you a musician? <laughs> I'm not. But I love playing music, but I'm like not. I would Well, if you play it. music, you're like a musician. I'm not good at it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making noise. What is dreaming in baseline? How does that go? I just get like, 
I just space out and I just realize that I haven't been thinking words. I've just been thinking bass lines for like <laughs> That's a while. great. You just taking yeah. a walk, taking a walk on the bass? That's what it is. Wow. I do have weird uh anxiety yeah. dreams about marriages and weddings. One yeah. time I had a dream that um that my boyfriend proposed to me and the ring was so thin and the diamond was so small. It was like a, it was like a grain of sand. Yeah. And I remember in my dream, it, I was like, yeah. Greta, you need to be happy. Like you need to be happy about this. And I was like so fucking upset. <laughs> and then I put it on and my skin started to eat the ring Whoa. because it was like so small yeah, yeah. Wow. and i was like no 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 like th- th- i need to needs to stay here like uh-huh. he needs to know that i like love him and blah blah blah, blah. right so then that I- makes so much sense because it's so much pressure to put on a fucking object like one little thing gets like all the shit like yeah. i could i could see that yeah i also <laughs> Like, not to be a bitch, but, like, if you're going to buy me a ring, buy me a fucking right. ring. Go for it. Like, yeah. pop off. You can't, I need... be, you can't be half criminal in mm-hmm. this thing of ours. You have, to go, you have to go full criminal. Get the whole rock. And, like, I don't care. I want a big diamond. Do you? Have you made peace with that? You want a big rock when the, when the time comes? Yeah. That's great. I, if I'm going to commit my life to you, like, legally, yeah. and you want me to wear an ornament that, like, states that, yeah. like, let's do it. The Pony right. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you sense. Know? It makes sense. Do you so you do have no uh you have no uh guilty conscience over blood diamonds, you'll just take what <laughs> No, I don't want it to be a blood diamond. You want a, you want, you want the conflict diamond. I want, like, a, yeah. I want to take it to a blood diamond. Yeah, you know, that's exactly I love Leo. what I want. I, I love want... Leo's movie, yeah, I love I his performance yeah. in it. He does this. He does this. He loves to go there. He's like, Oh, you're you want a big fucking diamond, yeah. you want a blood diamond, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I want the He's names fierce, of yeah. the poor kids who had to mine this and lost their limbs. Honestly, that shit makes me so Sad. Really? <laughs> Children losing yeah. their limbs? He about, Interesting. He doesn't care about that. He Interesting. Just about Leo. He just wants to talk about Are you Leo. a Leo Don't head? Listen. Oh, this is a Leo. This is a Leo safe space. We love Leo. Yeah. I have a Leo story for you. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Eric. Eric. Is this, this is, is a this... Leocracy, baby. Leo. <laughs> what is the word? What am I looking for? My Leo story. Is this direct? You, this is your story with, or is this... with Leo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Greta. I used to see Leo out at the club a lot in New York when I was a little club okay. lady. What year are we talking? We're talking 2009 through 2016. I would mm. see him out at the club on and off. Okay. See him at up and down. See him when it, also when it was the Derby. I saw him once at 10 June. Okay. Uh, and he's always there in like a newsy cap. And like sure. the last time I saw him at the club, yeah. he had a vape that was like literally the size of my coffee cup. Loves to vape. And he would pull it out of his cargo shorts that mm-hmm. he wears to the club. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's so fucking hot. It's out of control. Yeah. yeah. Um, but let's see. Maybe two years ago, when I was I was living in New York and um, I was walking my dog. And I have – maybe it was three years ago. Whatever. I have a very cute – curly poodle uh-huh. so cute this yeah. dog looks like a gunned animal like crazy uh-huh. and what's i was your, in a, what's, your dog's name? what's your dog's name bernie Just like, great bernie. question yeah. so I'm walking around and I'm in a fucking pissed off mood and my dog is like taking forever to just do anything and I'm just like not classic uh, bernie having a bad day yeah and this group of dudes are walking toward me and I'm looking at them and I'm just like these fucking idiots like yeah. they're wearing flip flops and like baggy <laughs> shorts and like they yeah. look like fucking doofuses yeah. and yeah. they're all in like a hat yeah. you know one yeah. is in like a fedora one is in this one is in that <laughs> and I'm just like these idiots and I'm just judging them uh-huh. fully I yeah I love it. so then one of these guys and I'm like on my phone my dog is pissing on a tree uh-huh. and like one of these guys is like oh my god like look at this cute dog and mm-hmm. they like come up to my dog and they start petting my dog and I'm just like great now I have a frat from like University of Central Florida petting mm-hmm. my fucking dog <laughs> yeah. and like this is great UCF. nice pull. yeah <laughs> So then, so then, this other guy comes up and he starts bedding down. And he's patting my dog and he's just like, "Oh my god! Like your dog is so beautiful! Like your dog is amazing! Like what's your dog's name?" And he's bending down, patting my dog, and I look down and he looks up. Mm-hmm. 
It's Jack. And I'm like it's Jack Dawson. <laughs> and I'm like, my dog's name is Bernie. And and I was like, and like you're Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I re- oh, yeah. I didn't say you're Leonardo DiCaprio, uh-huh. but I was like, I was like, my dog, my dog's name is Bernie. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I don't know what you and your friends are doing later, but my dog gets really cold at night. Um, no, but no. we had a real moment. Yeah. Where we locked eyes and yeah. he, yeah. he then was like, oh, Bernie, and was like kissing my dog. And uh-huh. I was like, hmm, I will kiss my dog where you kissed my dog yeah. <laughs> after this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And he was so beautiful and his eyes are just like so dreamy and he's right. so hot. Yeah. So he, he went home with Bernie that night. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, Bernie. He took Bernie home. Oh. I feel like to see him from that angle, like nobody would have a shot. Like um, at he that was angle, proposing to me. Yeah, honestly. he was down on one knee. He was proposing to me. Talk yeah. about weddings and grooms. He was my groom yeah. on Prince Street. Yeah. Uh, in Nolita. Wow. See, yeah. I just picture that shot, and when he's in in Titanic heaven, and he's at the clock, and he turns uh, around and he looks up with those with those baby blues. Can we talk though? He is hottest. I my first like coming of sexuality oh, of me being like Romeo I'm very and Juliet. horny Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, I watched it in school, and I remember being like, I need to like fuck my chair right now <laughs> yeah. because something love, crazy is happening. So many dudes dress like him, or like so many people. I've seen a lot of women dress like him, like that whole like redonkulous Hawaiian shirt. Dude, Justin Bieber is popping yeah, off in yeah. a yeah. in a Leo Romeo yeah. and Juliet look. And yeah. you know, it's hot. <laughs> I'm here yeah. for like an ecstasy taking like Hawaiian <laughs> yeah. shirt yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, what a good movie. What a hot guy. Now, we talked about the Cloonster. <laughs> what do we think about Leo? Is Leo ever going to settle down? He's too much of a he's too much of a cat. A hellcat. I don't know. Tom I don't cat. know. That's what I'm looking for. I, you know what I don't like about Leo? The fact that like, I don't, it's not that I don't like it. It's like fine because honestly, if I were Leonardo, I would be doing the same exact thing. Yeah. He just fucks 20 year olds. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's just it. Yeah. But yeah. like, I guess good on him if he just like, is like, look, I'm not going to be in a serious relationship with you. I just want to fuck hot girls and yeah. just like take you to chill vacation destinations right. like whatever you all sit around me on the beach i did hear a harem. rumor i did hear a rumor that he like had sex with a girl with ear with earbuds in i heard that story i heard yeah. that story yeah who'd you hear that from i heard that from uh i forget who i heard that from but yeah i've been telling that story i heard that from a girl that i worked with who claimed that a girl that she worked with at the club fucked him Okay. See, I heard that from a different uh, source uh, than it happened in London, mm. and someone was working one of his premieres. Okay, so it might so be it might be real. Twice as always. Yeah. Yeah. I also yeah. know a girl that had sex with Derek Jeter and got the Derek Jeter gift basket. Oh, he gives what gift baskets. Yeah. Wow. What is that? It's, yeah, it's like gift baskets of like Yankees stuff. It's yeah, it's no, it amoxicillin and other like penicillins and, and yeah, like a jo- Jumpman beanie. He's in what is he's like sending slides and like uh basically I take it. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that Leo will ever get married, but you know, if he does get married, that will be a huge fucking deal. Well, I don't know if there's another a mall walking around, but I figure it'd be someone like that when he's like but it's not the same thing, because Clooney like didn't get famous until he was like pretty old. Leo's been famous. It's true. Would he was like what twelve? On yeah, when he was in Growing Pains, Pains. Yeah. wasn't he in Growing Pains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he think was like Gilbert Grape. Gilbert Grape. Yeah, Clooney think that- had already like failed a bunch by the time he blew up. Also, Clooney had been in a series of like serious relationships with people. True. Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio never. I guess like his most serious relationship was with like Bar Raffaelli for like two oh, sure. years. Yeah, I don't bar. know. I don't know who he's dated. Has he ever dated he a famous be- actress? Oh yeah, I don't. Oh yeah, who? Uh, I don't. Well, famous models, I guess. I can't pull one out of my hat, but I know he's dated. Uh, he was never in like a Benefer kind of like equal like standing, high, like cele- high profile. Yeah, I don't think so. Wow. Unless, Rem- unless you count no. Bernie the dog. Yeah, me. that was important. <laughs> that was an important one. No, if him I- and Toby are going to go to Laker games for the rest of their lives yeah. together. 
They're each other's soulmates. He's a Jack Nicholson. He's he's a he's a young Jack. I would fuck Jack Nicholson still. Still? Yes. He's like he's like eighty something. He's like eighty three. And I think he has dementia. Yes. Yeah. Surely. He's still on board. Why not? He goes to Lakers games with his son, who looks a lot like him. Maybe yes. maybe you could do that. No. I love when his no. daughter. His daughter. Um, his sometimes his daughter gets their seats, and she'll bring a bunch of people who clearly have no interest in uh-huh. being at a basketball game. And it's my favorite. Usually, I hate that shit because I love the Lakers, and like I would literally die if I got to sit on the floor. Yeah. But like, they're so fun. They're just like really hot, like fashion slash like actor people. And they just like sit in the front row on their phone. And she's like a big fan, but like they just sit on the phone, like on the floor. And it's so funny. I love it. I love seeing people like at an event that they should be paying attention to that they're just openly not paying just attention oblivious. to. Oblivious. It's like when you watch award shows and you see people that are just like on their phones, yeah. not knowing that they're being recorded. Yeah. They're usually yeah. beautiful people too. And that's yeah. why they're there. Yeah. And that's the thing that baseball has that basketball doesn't, I feel like. Because if you can't do that at a baseball game, because you could die. Like, yeah. if, you, if you're not paying attention at a baseball game, uh, you're going to be. Yeah. I mean, they have the Nets. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I like I like that argument. baseball is like argument. a life or death live oh, sport family. though. I like that. Yeah. I like that you painted baseball as being like that high octane to go to. Yeah, I would argue you see more people on their phone at a baseball ba- game because it's so slow paced. You know, I just can't deal with a baseball game, like with live baseball games. No, no, I'm a hockey. I'm a live hockey girl. Yeah. And basketball oh, hockey. Girl. Okay. See, yeah. the line there is hockey game live is so much fun to see. Yes, I've never been. You've never gone to a hockey game? No, nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> what? Really, no, no, I'm, so, good. I'm all right. I'm, you don't want to go. You have no interest. No, I mean, I'll go if someone... Actually, no. I, my wife asked me if I wanted to go one time, and I was like... And no. you said no to your wife? She was going with other people, and I was like, no, you Where go. Where are you from? You go, Iowa. Iowa. I feel like you guys should love hockey. It's, it's close to Minnesota. Yeah. They like it there. I I'm close like enough, it. apparently. Where <laughs> are you from? I grew up in Southern California, in the Valley, mostly. Are you a, Are you a Kings fan? I like basketball more than anything. Yeah. I'm not, I like. I've been to Kings games, and I uh, when Gretz when I was a kid, when Gretzky was like really huge, that mm-hmm. was really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's really weird being DC is like a legit hockey town. Like nobody, yeah, the Caps are like real. One, mm-hmm. Hockey's number one in DC. Yeah, and that and that that that's been weird to adjust to because like LA is like such a basketball town. Yeah. Slowly, maybe kind of baseball sometimes, but it's mostly basketball. Mm-hmm. It's weird being in like, a, and I lived in Boston, which is like the dumbest sports town in the history of time. Like, yeah, they, just, they take sports to a fucking place that gets gross. Yeah, um, they take a lot of stuff to a place yeah. that gets gross. An old Bean Town. Mm-hmm. Shout out to our Bean Town listeners here. Yeah. Thanks for listening uh, to Grimsley. Fuck yeah, like ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the hockey's like crazy. Hockey's is its own thing. I like. Yeah. That. I really like the movie Goon too. That did a lot. When yeah. I saw Goon, I was Goon. like, cool. Mm. Yeah. You think Sean William Scott will ever get, will ever get married? You think Sean he William almost Scott? did. Yeah? He was oh, engaged. I like how I'm just a, a pool of yeah, shitty celebrity it. knowledge. You know a lot. Also, what is this podcast about right now? I don't know. We're, we're just, we're, ta- we're just, yeah. we're just seeing if celebrities will get married. Yeah. But just, we can continue yeah. talking about uh, well, other I'll, things. I'll, I'll steer it right back. Eric, do you have a question or should I steer it back to weddings? Um, I kind of want to talk about so much that we've already talked about. Like, for instance, like it really is it weird that Leo's is it like a <laughs> worse story that Leo made the headphones? Is it's, the headphones thing a fetish thing? Is that a better story or um, than it being a one time thing? Mm, I think what? you're. I think you're maybe coming from a place of fandom and you're trying to defend like, him a little. It bit. doesn't bother me. <laughs> it doesn't bother me that he. Like here's the here's the deal. If I'm about to have sex with Leonardo DiCaprio and he's yeah. like, yeah, and and he's like, probably doesn't even ask, but he just like puts in headphones. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna be like, okay. That's like, from what from the story I heard. The the girl was like, yeah, I get to fuck Leonardo DiCaprio. So yeah, it's fine so like he needs present. to like pop in a headphone, listen to like Headspace, whatever he has to do to like make himself <laughs> calm. I don't fucking know. Yeah, exactly. It's Radio Lab. It's got to be Radio <laughs> yeah, Lab. Yeah, whatever. What do you think he's listening to? <laughs> I don't think he's they listening know. to because anything. I, you you don't think he's listening to anything? No. You think he just pops them in to just it's like so he doesn't have to talk? Yeah. I think Eight Mile soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I 
he fucking is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just – that's what I try to think about is like if I had to – first of all, I don't like having sex to music generally speaking. No, I hate, I hate it. It's so distracting. Yeah. I don't need it. And I feel like I need to be on the beat, <laughs> oh, you know? Yeah. Like I have an urge to like – Yeah. If, to move yeah. to the music right. and it's just not yeah and i'll la- if i'm like if someone puts on like sade and i'm supposed to like get like horny to like romantic yeah. r&b which does make me like horny when i'm listening to it not in sex but then yeah. i just start to laugh then i'm like this yeah. is so it's funny, funny to set and- the mood to such a degree that you're like yeah. turning up the the r&b i remember Lighten being in candles. high school being like i need to that's how you have make sex. a playlist yeah. to have sex yeah Fucking- Society, man. That's what society tells you. <laughs> yeah. You need R and B music, yeah. and you don't. No, I was having. Se- I was like, <laughs> the music that I would think that I would need to have sex to always changed based upon oh, cool. who oh, I was cool. like had a crush on. So, like one guy, yeah. I was like, I was like Radiohead and like Flaming Lips and like mm-hmm. all of this, yeah, garbage, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> um, I lost my virginity to that one, that first Jack Johnson album. That's but that was beautiful. Just, that's just because uh, my like we li- I lived in a really small house then, and my sister and my mom were home, and it was like during the day, and like we needed huh. to make to make a smoke screen. So you put on bubbly toes, and they just <laughs> were like, <laughs> and they're like, he's not having sex. PBF, it just come out. Yeah. And I, you know, yeah. Is I that was, one that's like, is that one song, I'll, Drink the Water, Drink It Down? Yeah, I and I no, need I some air. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. wake up yeah, yeah, from is, this. Is, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Surely God, no I one can't. playing Jack Johnson is getting laid, they thought. Now I can't place it. God damn it. She's that's got like, a little. Yeah. Dun, 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 Drinks are always missing. To yeah. realize what you're missing, you're missing me. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, wedding horror stories? Do you have you ever been there to a wedding? Oh yeah. That was just. Or it's an I've event gone happened, to a wedding just... where the groomsman speech mm-hmm. was like one of the. I mean, I've gone to a few like really interesting weddings. This one wedding, though, the wedding itself was very fun, but the groomsman speech just made absolutely no sense Uh like it was almost as if he was having a stroke or something and every like no one could understand what he was saying like it was it was really crazy and like to the point where i was like should we let's intervene get him yeah like is he okay yeah it was really weird he was did anyone get to the bottom of it was he just nervous um i think he's just like a really like interesting guy and I think he was just like nervous, and I think he has some. What? I think he just has like some issues. That. Communication, communication issues. Okay. I think public speaking yeah. was like a very daunting task for him. Yeah. And uh, hadn't gone to his Toastmasters that week. Yeah, and I think that like it was just a big, big task that uh-huh. he couldn't handle. Okay. That was bad. Oh my god, nothing is worse than when you go to. A bunch of weddings, and I've gone to now I have so many weddings when the brides, when the bridesmaids and groomsmen, when they all say the same thing mm. in their speeches. Yeah. Where it's like, Brian, you are so lucky to have Ashley. Like, she is there to, if you want to binge all of, like, all of New Girl, she is there for you. If you just want to <laughs> snuggle up and, like, watch pizza, which, uh, eat pizza, which we've done a bunch of times, like, she is there for you. She will take down Pinot Grigio and, like, it is fine. She is my ride or die. And, Brian, you are so lucky to have her by your side. We didn't like you at first, oh, but yeah. when we saw how happy you made her it's like (laughs) and it's just like i can't like that's i can't i'm just like shut the fuck up and i hear so many of those are also like like when (laughs) girls are always like when i first met when I first met Melanie, <laughs> freshman year, Lehigh, it was crazy. We were both pledging Delta Gamma and uh, like ooh. like one of those. It sounds like you're, you're friends classic. with a certain stock of women who are. <laughs> well, this is, a, this, is a, this is a similar stock that does similar speeches. I'm yeah, friends yeah. with a variety of stocks okay. of women. And not to say that the women that give these speeches are bad because yeah. they're not bad. Yeah. They're very fun. Yeah. They can take down people. Pinot Grigio whenever you I'm, I'm here to. to take down Pinot Grigio. 
people that well. It's like so many. Yeah, it's a little surface. Like, so, but there's just like there's so much pressure to like include the history of your life or like have like if when you have a what's it called a bridal party yeah mm-hmm. they have the history of your life be represented by the people in your bridal party and it's like most of the time or like some of the time not most of the time i don't want to say most but like some of the time you just have like oh you're my like really really old friend but we're not in each other's lives at all right mm-hmm. and you come to my wedding and you don't really know my partner and you're just like talking yeah now. yeah you're like yeah remember I, that one thing and like all that stuff i love watching I was at a wedding where like another groomsman gave a speech to the groom mm-hmm. and he was just like roasting him, but not in a funny way at all <laughs> where everyone was just like, God, like, damn, just like, mean. yeah, he yeah. was like, again, like same kind of stock of guy that was like, <laughs> yeah, I met Colin in like summer of like 97 and like he sucks at like this and like, yeah. I'll still kick your ass playing like touch football and like you still owe me 2K from when we were in Vegas, not going to say what we did. You know oh what we God. did, like one of those things. And it's like, Jesus, it's like go and die. Yeah, I like the guys who think being mean is funny just because of like all the Comedy Central roasts. Like, I'll just be mean to him and that'll get laughs. Or if like you're going to roast me, like you need to be really smart about it. Yeah. They need to be like very clever, funny things. Being like, I'm not going to say what we did in Vegas, <laughs> like strippers. Yeah. Like, you can't, like, yeah. it's stupid. Remember that Scrabble tournament? I won't talk about it. Yeah. I won't talk about it, bro. <laughs> I do like. I do one like guy it. Just, like saying a number of mo- like an uh, like an, a money amount over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty five grand, <laughs> oh, dude! Oh my god! I did witness. I do like witnessing like really great speeches. I do like that well, about of course. weddings. When you yeah. watch a really good speech, you're like, that's great. Yeah, it's something to behold, and that usually comes from the the. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't generalize, but usually the elder statesmen in in the crowd, like the fathers and the and the mothers, usually have been through the paces. Yeah, they no? usually bring Eric it home. Eric shaking his head. No. no, I always think the younger siblings bring it home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I say that as a younger sibling who has spoken at my brother's wedding, mm-hmm. and my yeah. sister and I, both younger than my brother. Yeah. We like really. Okay. Well, let's get into home. that. Let's get. You've given a speech at a wedding. Have you? Well, let's cover everything you've done in a wedding. You've yeah. been. You've been a uh, uh, in the bridal party. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and you've given speeches. Does yeah. that mean you're a maid of honor? Nope. I. Mm, no, I've never been a maid of honor. I've been in bridal parties. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've given speeches. Not the official toast, like a rehearsal dinner speech. What? what when was your speech? Well, my speech at my brother's wedding was at the actual wedding. Okay. Um, and then I spoke at one of my best friend's weddings that I was in the bridal party for mm-hmm. uh, the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. Now, these speeches, did they follow your uh, your your entertainment career or was, was this before you were performing? Mm, my brother's was before I was performing. Oh, okay. So that's where you got the bug maybe? Yeah, yeah, that wedding, that wedding in Harrisburg, PA. Yeah, got yeah. bit by the bug. That's where you got your agent. Stupid That's where everything. Baby. That's where everything happened. I actually that wedding, we were all, all of our bridesmaids' dresses were from J. Crew, and Love it. I cool. ordered one. I have big boobs, and I ordered one in like a in a size up because I knew it had to be bigger to fit me Uh so and i got it in a rush and like i got this dress and i had to get it tailored so i took it to a tailor that like i it was just in dc and they could turn it around quickly and whatever Mm -hmm. i get the dress back and it's supposed to be like a few inches below my knee i get the dress back it is like five inches above my knee they turned this dress this like chocolate brown bridesmaids dress into like a mini like like, tight cocktail cocktail dress dress. great and i had just come back from being in arizona and i was so tan and i was so blonde and like i'm wearing this like were you like 22 years old or something i'm not even (laughs) i'm like 20 and i'm wearing this like microscopic dress (laughs) i look psycho compared to everyone else there yeah it was so bad and when you see the photos of like all the bridesmaids lined up everyone looks like so elegant and then me i just look like this like trash hooker that like came from a tanning salon (laughs) It was she's not. Really nice. it you was, talk to her. She's really nice. She's really nice. 
<laughs> and you gave a speech do, in that dress? I gave a speech in that dress. Wow. Was it yeah. don't go to the tailors yeah, over on 6th Street? Basically. But my br- at my brother's wedding, let's see. Yeah, my brother's wedding was great. I had a fun time at my brother's wedding. Mm-hmm. And the speech went well or the it was well was received? Great. It was well received. It yeah. was a great speech. I think that, yeah, I didn't speak. Yeah, I don't. I've helped a lot of my friends like do wedding planning. Like one of my oh, okay. two of my best friends got married, not this past summer, but the summer before. Uh-huh. And I was out there with them like getting their what they got married in Illinois in like the a small town in Illinois and I was was there helping her get ready for her wedding for like five days before which yeah. was like fun do you yeah you like that yeah I love doing that well, kind of stuff so you're excited to like if you do get married one day you're you're looking forward to the planning of it all I know how I would get married if I were to get married okay well let's yeah. end on that that's a perfect way to wrap it up well, how, how will you get how will Greta Titleman get married here's how if and when the day comes um I will go to the courthouse and like here in have, LA, mm, and New, probably New York. Okay, uh, because that's where my boyfriend's family is, mm-hmm. and that's where a lot of my family is too. Mm-hmm. So I think I'd go to New York. I think his family would come. My and my like sister, and I'd want my brother to be there, and my aunt and uncle who I'm really close with. And I think we'd go to the courthouse, get married, and have like a really nice lunch. Yeah, and then I'd like throw myself like a psycho disco themed dance party. Uh huh. Same day or no different day? Different day. TBD. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. That's kind of what it is on trend right now. That's what. Yeah. Like... Well, I think that there's so much pressure. Like yeah. the thought of. And I'm such a performer, too, that I think, right. like, the thought of me needing to, like, yeah. say my vows in front of, like, and my wedding would be big. It would be yeah. a 200-plus person gotcha. situation. Yeah. That would just stress me out. Yeah. I don't know. I, I would feel so weird. Then it would cost a hell of a lot more, too. Yeah. And I'd feel yeah. like... I would be like critical of myself after. I'd be like, God, I just don't know if my vows like crushed. They didn't like, land. I just yeah. don't know if people like felt it. You know, I bet it's yeah. so fun to like isolate the party and just have a fucking party, just it being a party. And it's like, oh God, that must be the like, best feeling. Half of what drives me to want to have a wedding is the fashions. Like I want to have looks, oh, yeah. you know? Uh-huh. So like. Yeah. So you want more than one wardrobe oh, yeah. opportunity. Oh yeah, I'm going to need to, I'm going to do like three outfit changes in my mm-hmm. disco party night. You guys can come. Okay. Yeah, well, you wanted her first. I'll, 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 we'll develop our friendship yeah. beyond yeah, sure. this. Sure. Yeah. And then you guys can come. And then we can come yeah. disco party. And you can come to the East Coast branch of my future wedding that does not have a date. <laughs> right. And New you York. can see that my is... massive diamond ring. Oh, yeah. It better be fucking big. Huge <laughs> drop. It better be, it better be covered in blood. Your it's going to be the... It's going to lose it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be huge. Great. That's what, exactly what I want to hear. Greta Titleman, thank you so much oh, for, thanks for joining us on yeah. Grimzilla's. It was great. That was fun. All right. Boy, I hope she marries Leonardo DiCaprio one day. That was Greta Teitelman. What a juicy talk that was. Oh, man. That was fun. Fun and juicy talk. Can we get her back? Can we schedule her back? Alec, can you look at our calendar? I feel like she needs a... She... she, I feel like she'd be our, like, on, like, correspondent or something. Yeah. We need a... We need a person on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Boots... Whenever the boots are on the ground, we'll put Greta in there. She's like our Lewis Black of mm-hmm. the whole Daily Show. Remember when Daily Show before when Lewis Black was on it? I do. She's like our Lewis Black of okay. on the Daily Show. But we are in this situation are not the Daily Show, <laughs> but are similar. Okay. Uh, yeah, she was good. That was Greta Titleman. Um, follow her. Do all the stuff with her. You're, she'll do your be, thing. Do Just your, be yourself. You know what? Don't be worry you. about it. Get blood diamonds. Don't get blood diamonds. Whatever you got to be. Put your earbuds in to have sex. Do whippets. I love, I love how the, you horseshoeing Leo into every conversation finally paid off. And a, and a fucking rumor. <laughs> and also a rumor came full circle. How about what that? that? See, I told that. you Behind the curtain here, I, I, I told that. I got that dirty dish from someone, and I passed it right along. You're a Leo head, too. Don't put this all on me. I'm a, I'm a Leo head, but that I'm, I'm specifically to that rumor. And that rumor, I mean, like, that's a bombshell that... Yeah. I, like, from, I'm a, I'm a, that thing being a one-time thing yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, like I think that's a funny, that's we a got better it from story. Two different sources because it wasn't even now the it's same a whole location. Different thing. Now it's like it's a whole different conversation. You thing. can't be like, "Oh, I heard this about Leo." Yeah, now you have to talk about Leo. It's confirmed. <laughs> it's confirmed that it's Here, a thing. But yeah. Invade. Well, thank you once again for listening to Grimzillas. Follow us on all the stuff. That's Eric Dorian. Hey, if you're in the Omaha area or Denver, 
Or Denver. I got, shows, I got shows there on this weekend. Eric's Eric's coming through. Be on Boulder on Sunday, December. This is, doesn't matter. We'll again edit <laughs> this part out. <laughs> okay. You, I mean, plug your album recording for your Lord's sake. December 7th, Omaha, Nebraska, Olivers, Connor Obers from Bright Eyes might be there, might not, but I'm oh, recording okay. my album, Nebraska, Nebraska 2. It's happening in Nebraska. I love it. And I love you. Milk me. I love you, Dan. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.